Go to w.gg and use code NOCHOICEGV for 10% off any order. No artificial colors, no fillers, zero calories, and zero sugar. Use code NOCHOICEGV, that's N-O-C-H-O-I-C-E-G-V, at checkout for 10% off. Thank you, W, for sponsoring this video. Ah. Uh. The passage of time can be reversed under certain conditions. Hi everybody, my name's Mayhem! I'm Jitsu. Duke. And today we're back with another episode of 999. We finished the puzzle and Duke got very upset at it. <laughs> very. Because this guy just so happens to know stock. He knows stocks and Lotus is knowing about mind messing up stuff. Alright, let's go. Well, well, I, I hate it because this guy's literally one of the most pathetic waste of space I've ever seen. It's because he's one... huge in Zoom. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but, um, and meanwhile, the other one just pissed me off because she goes on and on and on about this scientific theory and then goes, JK lol. Ha ha ha. Totally. But it's not like it's going to actually be relevant. Anyways, I'll go get Jewel. You guys hit to the duel. Okay. Roger that. That was your, yeah. Uh, center door! Click the center door, please. You're Jumpy. What the fuck is he saying? Yes! Yes! <laughs> it unlocked. Good job, Junpei. Good. Now we can get going. Come on. What are you guys standing around for? Let's get out of here. Get out of here. Oh my god! Come on, Jumpy. Let's go! Right, let's go. Something's gonna happen. You stop clicking. Something's gonna happen. You it's stop gonna, clicking. It's gonna blow up. Because we're gonna accidentally double skip over things. Found it. You found it. <laughs> Yay. They step through the door to find themselves in a wide hallway. Junpei, Jun, Lotus, and Santa stopped for a moment and looked at their surroundings. A short distance away, a metal grate extended from the width of the hallway. They took hold and shook, but refused to move. Nearby was a pair of elevators. Two of them! It took only a few button presses to determine that the elevators would not respond to their efforts. They could only assume that the elevators were not powered. Door. There was only one door left. Well, looks like we don't have any choice. It's just because of good looking. Yeah. <laughs> sure does. Sure does! Ah, oh, shit. Wait, let's open it. Jupei grabbed hold of the knob and quietly pushed the door open. Does the Pokemon leaving sound effect? He entered slowly, trying to take in as much of the surroundings as he could. The others followed shortly. Uh, so it's a kitchen. Hell yeah. Santa did not look pleased. What were you expecting? Isn't it obvious? The exit. <laughs> Isn't it obvious? You're home. I was hoping this would be the way out of here. <laughs> oh, it's... Junpei. Junpei. You really think it'd be that easy? Yeah, yeah, I know. Still. As they talked, Lotus headed deeper into the room. Until at last she stood in front of a door. <laughs> if we can just get through this door, we should come out on the other side of that. Great, we saw earlier. Is it great? But don't we need a key for that? Sorry, I guess that wasn't very constructive. Neither Junpei nor Lotus looked terribly happy. Junpei dug the ship map from his pocket and spread it out in front of him. Whoa, whoa, as he did. Hi! What's that? Oh. Oh, yeah, I guess I forgot to tell you. I found this a while ago. It's a map of B deck. B deck. <laughs> Before Junpei could finish, Lotus snatched the map away from him. What a bitch! <laughs> She ran her finger across it, muttering to herself. I knew it! I knew it! See, look! Junpei did as he was told. Santa and Jun moved over to look at the map as well. <laughs> we came in here. If we go out there, then we'll be on the other side of the... Great. With her finger, Lotus traced the path on the, with the, on the map. Duh! She was right. Satisfied that she... Had been correct, Lotus folded the map and handed it back to Junpei. He took it and slid the valuable piece of paper back into his pocket. There's a guy right on the side of the door. Then that means the key card is somewhere in here, right? Right. Uh, 
Yeah, she is most likely. All right, we know what we need to do then. Let's get moving. First off, I said we split up and look for clues. <laughs> Blues. Okay. Shaggy, you go with the dog. I'll take the women, and we go to the bedroom. <laughs> Seek the way out. Hey, let's see where we're going. It's... Oh. Here, 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 here. <laughs> uh, the, the mouse, uh, click on things that you see. One, two. One, two, three. There's ten of them. If you flip them over, they look like hats. Very perspective, Junpei. The middle is super deep for a plate. Because it's a bowl. They're soup plates. They're made that way so that uh, the soup doesn't spill. Like a bowl. If we ever get out of here, you should treat yourself to a nice dinner out. No, I'll die. What makes you think a poor college student has the money to do something like that? <laughs> that. Uh. Uh. It's kind of far away. I can't really tell. But is that a ladle? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I don't really think a ladle is going to be very useful. Shows what you know. You've never been hit with a ladle. Shows what you know, stockbroker. <laughs> stockbroker. Is a light hanging from the ceiling? No, it's mine. Oh, the square okay. thing. It's a countdown. We've got a, we've got a rolling pin and a calendar. Clothing. Uh, nothing useful, in other words. Clothing. But... I can see it. It's fucking... Get that. No, that's the exit. There's a big old iron plate over the door. Don't think we can open it. There. What's this? What's this? There. Celsius. It looks like you can enter numbers into this thing. Also, that's not Celsius. That's clear and enter. Is it an oven timer? It's probably for entering a passcode. After all, the other door is locked. My guess is that it's open. It'll, no, no, no. It'll open if we put in the correct code. <laughs> we gotta figure out the code. Ah, oh, God. It's an iron oven. Looks pretty heavy duty. Duty. It's probably industrial duty. quality. I bet you can cook anything with these. Anyway, let's have a look inside. Damn. Damn, I knew it. It's locked. Yes. So we, we need gotta to find, find that code. Check the other plates. You, check check the, you check the, the plate. napkin. The napkin. Those nine plates look ex pretty expensive. They're plates for appetizers. Remember, appetizers usually come on square plates. I. <laughs> okay. Okay. Well, excuse me, princess. Hell yeah! They I got that. They added this reference. That's an amazing what Easter egg. What a reference! Get the the, the napkin. No. <laughs> I think there are 15 of these plates. I'm assuming they're for seafood. How do you know that? How the, how the hell can you tell that? They look just like any other plate from the 99 cent store. If you ever take a lady out to dinner, you're gonna be, you're going to embarrass yourself. No, we're going for bagels. <laughs> we're going to McDonald's, baby. I feel, okay. Fuck me in. Oh. Uh. Uh, what, 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 in the butt? Why the hell are you bringing up Jo- Oh, you know. The lady does protest too much, me thinks. You are not terribly subtle. <laughs> and check the last plates. Okay, never mind. Shit. Doesn't seem to be anything useful over there. There's a bunch There's of- Little riches on this plate. Don't you take my fucking line. Those plates, uh, those plates are for serving meat. Ah, uh, you really are ignorant, aren't you? You don't know what each plate does. <laughs> Come on, it's not like I need to know this shit. Jeez. Click that the, the napkin. Wow, it's zoomed a in on the fucking plate. the end of the counter. There's, there's a voucher at the end of the counter. This voucher doesn't match the number of plates on the table. It says appetizer nine, meat dish ten, soup. What's that say? A. A. What the fuck? Why isn't a letter now? Seafood dish F on the voucher. Why was that a fucking letter? And the plates on the table are nine appetizers, sixteen meat, ten soup, fifteen seafood. Maybe they're using hexadecimal here. And hexadecimal is is 
the number system that goes eight nine a b c d d e f ten eleven <laughs> you're familiar with base 10 right that's the normal system of numbers the base 10 equivalents for hexadecimal numbers would go like this ah uh, a equals 10 b equals 11 c equals 12 d equals 13 e equals 14 f equals 15 and 10 equals 16. 10 becomes 16 and base is 10. I know it sounds strange, but you can think of it as just six letters added on to the normal number system after nine. A. Yes, I could A10, B11, C12, D13, <coughs> E14, F15, <coughs> 10, 16, and so on. A. I got it, I got it. <laughs> a note it's got a bunch of stuff written on it but it doesn't look like a code or anything like that well fuck that <laughs> then. does not look at the rest of it no oh wow this pot looks like it's made out of silver yeah no it cuts off uh, uh, one letter and it fucks me up so I'm, I'm reading from here now i bet drinking tea for this pot would be really yummy spending a day off with you and drinking tea could such a day ever happen for me jumpy oh nothing we don't really need hot water, so we should be moving on. There we go. Door! Cheese! The oh. cheese wall. There's so much stuff in here. A whole lot of cans. This is probably a pantry. Cheese! Ah. Oh. <sighs> hey. There's something behind the cheese. You're right. Why don't we move some of the cheese? All right, guys, time to move it. June and I need to look behind you. Why are they standing in front of us? There's a little green bottle back there. Mountain Dew! <laughs> bottle of oil. Olive oil! Boys, we got olive oil! We found the guy who was unvirgining him. <laughs> the cheese. It was me. Maybe another cheese? The number of cheese is lined up on the shelf. It's good at cheese. The most famous... Dutch cheese. Uh huh. If you don't cut open the casing, it usually won't go bad. So you can store it at room temperature for like quite a while. So we can eat this? Most likely. I'm not hungry after all. I guess it's hard to get hungry in a situation like this. Cheese is on this shelf. Sweet. Sweet! <laughs> Sweet cheese. It's cheese on this shelf. Sweet. Uh, yeah, something tells me. It's, yeah, it's yeah, cheese yeah. on this shelf. Sweet. The cans line in every shelf. Wooden box on the second row, though. Wait. Uh, the thing on the right? Oh! Oh! It's a knife. Knife. It's a knife to meet ya. A rusty knife. I don't think we'll be able to use it while it's like this. The knife seemed important, Junpei thought, but it wasn't going to be much use the way it was. It's futile! Well, what are you though? Futile? You know, a waste... Useless? Pointless? You don't need to explain the word. Oh. Ah. Uh, any particular reason you wanted to bring that up? Uh, no reason, really. It was just thinking about futility. She wasn't making much sense. Like usual! <laughs> Junpei tried rephrasing his question. Why were you thinking about futility? At last, she answered. Well, because you asked. It was something to do with the Titanic. The Titanic... Have you ever heard of the story of the sinking of the Titanic was predicted? Have we? Yes, we have. We definitely have. We, uh, Jinzu, what do you think? We have, right? Yeah. We you definitely. Heard it, right? Yeah. Oh. oh, yeah. I know what you're talking about. There was a novel that had a bunch of stuff in it that described the sinking of the Titanic before it actually sank. Yeah, that's the one. Uh, the title of the novel is Futility. It was written 14 years before the Titanic sank. Beat. I know, I know. I mean, I didn't know the name of the book, but the story was the same, right? It was just like what happened on the Titanic. Yeah. Leonardo well, DiCaprio was... was there. Oh, a <laughs> hoax. <laughs> he drew a woman naked. Hell yeah. A hoax. I heard that stuff that matched up to the Titanic was, well, actually just added after it sank. Apparently, the only thing that was uh, the same originally was that a 
boat ran into an iceberg and sank. <laughs> a boat ran into an iceberg. They were good friends when in college. <laughs> uh, the novel was published in 1898, 14 years before the accident. Yeah. Like I said, that was the first print of the book. 14 years later, the 14 author... 14 years! 14 years! <laughs> the author heard about what happened to the Titanic. He figured that he had... he well, That was his chance, you know? If she says 14 years after you just said that, then I'm gonna lose it. He just went back and changed some stuff in the novel. So that it matched the Titanic exactly. Surprised by Junpei's response, June seemed rather taken aback. Really? Really. There's no such thing as premonitions or any of that stuff. It's fake. For a moment, June looked very unhappy. More so than Junpei thought it was normal for such a discussion. But it lasted only a moment. With no apparent reason, she suddenly looked at him, up at him a lot. But, 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 that wasn't the only book that predicted the Titanic seeking. It wasn't? <laughs> yep. Okay, thank God. There were two other similar stories written by a man named William Thomas Stead. Both of them before the accident. One in 1886 and the one in 1892. Stead wrote two stories that had striking similarities to the Titanic disaster. In one, the two ships collided and many of the passengers died because they weren't enough lifeboats. In the other, a ship collided with the iceberg and sank. Uh-huh. I don't know. I mean, I'll give you that. It seems a little weird, but... I'm pretty sure it wasn't too uncommon for ships to hit icebergs back in the day, or even other ships. I like how she's really trying to get us to believe in premonitions. <laughs> yeah. Right. I knew you'd say that. Yeah. But what if Stead had some sort of special powers? To be more specific, what if he had the ability to do automatic writing? I'm gonna fucking lose it. What? Automatic writing? Wait, are you fucking stupid are you talking about the thing where someone says they're possessed by a spirit and then they write a bunch of stuff without knowing what they're writing yes what do you mean yes that stuff's a load of shit <laughs> okay so let's say hypothetically that automatic <laughs> writing is in a total load these guys could couldn't have predicted the sinking of the titanic when this day dude wrote his thing <laughs> Nobody died on the Titanic yet. So if the automatic writing is about being possessed by spirits of dead people, hey, Jinzu. who the hell possessed him so he could write that stuff? Can you see who's talking? Oh, it's Junpei. Oh, it's fuck. been Junpei for a lot fuck. of time. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Why are they June and Junpei? Yeah. <laughs> who the hell possessed him so he could write that stuff? That's not it. Junpei, <laughs> you've been talking for so long. What's not it? Stan wasn't possessed by a spirit. He was doing the possessing. Oh. <laughs> oh. What are you talking about? What are you fucking smoking? Hey, Jimsy, what you smoking? The oh, cheese. Cheese. <laughs> Jimsy, is this what it's like to talk to us? Huh? Is this what it's like to talk to us? To a bunch of idiots. As he Take slowly yes. turns and looks at Duke. <laughs> With the intent to uh, kill. William Thomas Stead was a passenger on the Titanic. He just wrote down on what he saw with his own eyes. 20 years before it happened. <sighs> Duff. Even the, narr the narrator. The narrator was also stumped. He decided it was probably best to say nothing. What June was saying was insane and utterly absurd, and he tried to take what she was saying seriously. He'd go mad. Junpei smiled uncom uncomfortably. Well, uh, <laughs> why don't we talk about this some other time, okay? Huh? But I'd rather talk about stocks. Global at this warming. Point. <laughs> Her voice trailed off, and she glanced at the floor, troubled. Tap tap. Junpei tapped June gently on the shoulder and awkwardly reached around her to pick up the knife from the box. I'm gonna stab you real fast. Ah <laughs> uh, ah! Uh, what if we combine? Do it. Do it! Damn it. Two mice. What could you fall into a bucket of cream. The first mouse gives up and drowns. Try the thing on the right. What thing on the right? The bite of the cheese dat. There's, There's milk in here. There's milk in here. <laughs> milk in an iron barrel. 
And judging by the rust, it's probably really old. Maybe we shouldn't open it. I don't think it'd be a pretty sight. <laughs> open it. There might be cheese inside. Open it. Door. Open it. The rust might have turned it into chocolate milk. It's a bolt. <laughs> no, chocolate milk comes from chocolate cows. And it's really rusty. Maybe it's even open. We won't know till we try. Let's give it a shot. All right, let's see if, if you're gonna come out. I'm gay! No, the door isn't gay yet. Damn. No dice. Rusted bolt. This door won't open till we can do something about this bolt. Maybe we had some kind of lubricant. Like, oh, here you go. Door. There's a bolt keeping us from opening it. The uh, item. The uh, you. Ah. Oh my god! Oh damn. Oh shit. You skipping my lines. Blah, blah, blah. Oil might be used to help. Maybe we could put it on the old hag's face. Might help moisturize it a little. Get rid of the. Get rid of some of those wrinkles. How about we put it on your face and then light it on fire? Jesus Christ! <laughs> okay. And Adam. And now click it. Nope. There, click it. There you go. The bolt is rusted in place. It won't budge. Of course. Of course! <laughs> Maybe if I put some oil on it. Oh. Hey, hey! Just a little bit of oil and. Come on! I'm not the fucking narrator, you son of a bitch. <laughs> then why'd you pop up? <laughs> Whoa! Ha, yes, got you, you little bastard. You did it, Jumpy. You're so smart. And you're so dumb. No, we die! We're I love dumb bitches. <laughs> they're so cute when they're dumb. As you pay, walked and into the room. they're dumb all the time. <laughs> <laughs> a blast of cold air washed over him. Almost instinctively, he folded his arms tightly across his chest, doing what he could to conserve body heat. Burr, it's cold in here. <laughs> Burr. Burr. What is this place? Who's your favorite comedian? Burr. Are you blind? It's a freezer. Santa's teeth had already begun to turn. Freezer, freezer, freezer. Hardly surprising. We have one on the ship. <laughs> no, they're referring to me. <laughs> the freezer was far too cold for someone to dress as he was. Naked. Lotus, however, was even worse situation. Bounce. Oh, no way. That's way too cold for me. I'll freeze. I'll freeze solid in seconds. Sorry, but I'm afraid I'll have to pass on this one. I'm gonna leave the rest to you. And with that, she ran out of the room. I wonder why she's so cold. As Lotus left, June came in. It might be because she's dressed like a stripper. <laughs> wow, it's really cold in here. White puffs of steam hovered in front of their faces as they talked. June had already started to shiver. Hey, you don't need to be in here. Get out of here. He had a fever just a little bit ago. You should stay outside. We got this. No, I'm fine. The fever's gone. The fever's gone by now. But. Junpei had scarcely opened his mouth. No! When the thunderous sound of metal upon metal rang out from behind them. In unison, they spun around to find that the door had only been recently come through. Was closed! Lotus, you bitch! Lotus, you bitch! The fuck? Hey, hey. Junpei rushed to the door. Desperately, he grabbed hold of the doorknob. Hey! Ow! <laughs> it was cold, beyond cold. Merely touching it was painful. The doorknob had been frozen solid. They quickly deduced that the pipe next to the door had ruptured. Water released by the rupture had hit the door and froze in instantly. Santa shoved Junpei aside and pounded against the door. Hey, Lotus! Hey. I know I said you're old and wrinkly, but can you fucking save us out here real quick? That's about right, yeah. Open uh, the door! <laughs> Open the door! <laughs> Open the door! Open the door! She wasted no time in responding. What do you want? What's going on? Oh my god. The door won't open. Try opening it from that side. Please. Please. Fine. If you say so. We're literally going to die. Hold on. Soon they can hear Lotus on the other side of the door. Ah! <laughs> Arg! Ah! 
<laughs> then the grunting ceased and they could hear light <coughs> panting as if from exertion. As if. It's no use! It's no use! It's no use, it won't budge. You got more people in there, you figure it out. <laughs> Fuck. 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 God damn. <laughs> oh wait, that's you. God damn it. Santa was shaking like a newborn deer. June was in, was hugging herself and was shivering violently. Even Junpei, with the heaviest clothes of any of them, was clearly feeling the cold. With every breath they took, they could feel the cold working its way deeper and deeper into their bodies. Anyway, let, 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 let's find a way out. If we don't get moving, we, 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 we're going to be p p permanent residents. Two heads are better than one. I'm sure we'll figure something out. Yeah, you, you're right. Yeah. <laughs> Break it down. Ew, 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 ew. Let's just take a good look around this room, okay? Right. They pushed in close to one another and began to search. It is very Fire. hard to relate to these frozen people because it is hard as balls. Because for us. It's, it's just... I want to be them. <laughs> <laughs> There's some frozen meat up there. Looks like pork. What's this? It looks like a tag or something. A chunk of pork! Haram. <laughs> Everything's frozen in here. Doesn't look like there's anything else interesting. The fridge! Hello. Hello. Dry ice! Uh oh, oh, damn. That's some good ice. Some good as ice. Junpei picked up the dry ice with the sleeves so it to avoid burning himself. Dry ice is just frozen carbon dioxide, right? Well, who gave you the medal in science? Yeah, it is. I wonder how warm it has to get for it to turn back into gas again. Hell if I know. Gase. How's that gonna help us anyway? Ah, uh, well, I figured we might be able to use it to get out of here. They were about to move on when June spoke up. Don't. Carbon dioxide subliminal point is negative... Sublimation. Sublimation point is negative 109 degrees. Any warmer than that, and it'll turn into gas. Any lower, it'll become a salad. Junpei looked at her, dumbfounded. How'd you know that? <laughs> Despite my looks, I'm the... I'm the... the queen... Blech. Um, the queen of I'm random knowledge. Look. Looks bad to mess up when you're showing off. Oh, that was Junpei. Fuck. Yeah, it was. Don't Fuck. worry. <laughs> it's even worse when they're literally in the same exact spot. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, you're so cold, your mouth's going numb. What's right? You're just doing that on purpose, aren't you? June giggled and did her best to hide her guilt. At least she was still feeling good enough to joke around, Jupay told himself. Come on, guys. Don't you think that's kind of weird? <laughs> wonder, I wonder why it did, doesn't turn into liquid first. Santa was now shivering at an astounding rate, but his curiosity seemed unaffected. Santa's a stupid bitch. And we're not escaping still because we're just talking. Junpei, however, was not in the mood to discuss science. He wanted out of his freezer now, did he? It did strike Junpei rather odd. <laughs> you know, it is kind of weird. No, we need to get out now. But, but boys, isn't it kind of weird? But let's talk about the science of dry ice. Fellas, <laughs> is it gay? To burn your dick off with dry ice. You use your ice lubricant. <laughs> His patience was wearing thin. Junzu, yes, it is because a man once breathed out that carbon dioxide. <laughs> <sighs> so you're you got a man burning your you're dick. You're basically off. blowing yourself <laughs> to fucking sun, to the sun. <laughs> how the hell would I know? And how the hell is that gonna help us out here? We don't have time for this shit. Actually, Junpei stopped mid-sentence, surprised by Jun's interjection. Under enough pressure, carbon dioxide would turn into a liquid. Not a good time for a chat about science. But I was wondering the same thing. Wondering what? Wondering why carbon dioxide doesn't turn into a liquid unless it's under pressure. Because that's just how it fucking... Do 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 do. Right? Do 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 do. Under pressure! <laughs> Crushing down on me! Pressing down right. on me! No man asked for- It just seems weird. 
Water's a liquid between 32 and 212 degrees. I'm in hell. So why um, isn't it that case for carbon dioxide? This game is hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just imagining it from Junpei's perspective now. It's just like, he's dying. And it's just, I'm in hell. Like, I, I wasn't kidnapped. I was murdered. He's Look, like, I went to hell. <laughs> That's Look, not my childhood crush. That's just Satan. <coughs> Looks like hell's frozen over. Looks like Satan comes to me with everything I've ever wanted. Uh, H2O and CO2 are pretty similar. No, they're not. No, they're not. Oh, they're okay. totally different substances. This time I'll interrupt. Why is he talking? I thought he was like, we need to get out of here now. <laughs> Look, guys, if we keep this up, we're just going to freeze to death. You good with that? You wanna die talking about sublimation and gases? You wanna die? Cause I sure don't. Sure as hell don't. You fix both of them with a the glare. Now let's get back to work. Assuming you don't want to end up like a pair of ice sculptures. Junpei turned around to the problem dealt with. You fucking idiot. Or so he thought. I'm gonna lose it. There's a kind of ice that doesn't turn into liquid when it goes above 32 degrees. Huh? Why? Heard about it? No! <laughs> its melting point is 96 degrees. Its melting point is 96 degrees? They're still talking about it. You mean there's water that freezes at 96 degrees? Yeah. But you can also look at his ice that won't melt until it's 96 degrees. <laughs> <laughs> this fucking game. <laughs> Why is the dialogue so hapless in this game? Water that freezes at 96 <laughs> degrees? Ice that won't melt until it's 96 degrees? That's interesting. It doesn't matter. <laughs> Say that's interesting. Say interesting. Interesting. Now that was difficult to ignore. <laughs> that, that was difficult to ignore. Holy shit. Oh my god. Junpei had to ask. So what's this ice with a melting point of 96 degrees called? I heard it's called Ice 9. No way. I heard it's called Vanilla Ice. <laughs> boom, <laughs> boom, boom, <laughs> doom, doom, doom. <laughs> boom, 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 doom, doom. Doom, doom. It's, it's the same start as the song with Under Pressure. Yeah. <laughs> I, can't, I can't get over yeah, that. Yeah, Queen sued Vanilla Ice for that. <laughs> <laughs> well, you want to know the best part? It was an interview with Vanilla Ice where he specifically said, uh, just like, no, 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 no. Their song goes ding, 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 da, da, ding, ding. Ding, 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 da, da, ding, ding. My song goes ding, 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 da, da, ding, ding, ding. Ding, 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 da, da, ding, ding, ding. And it doesn't. <laughs> Vanilla Ice, you are white. <laughs> He's a national treasure is what he is. He's Vanilla Ice. Oh, but, oh Originally, me. Ice... No Say, it's not just me. Yeah, right? It's fucking weird. Originally, Ice-9 was made up for the substance invented by science fiction author. But recently, scientists had discovered that such a substance actually exists. Wait. Hold up. Uh, so is this thing called Ice-9, or is it water? Like I said, if the ice is over 96 degrees, it'll be liquid. And if it's under that, it'll solidify. So you, so you can think of it as a polymorph of H2O. Here, think of it like diamonds and graphite. They're both made of carbon, right? But depending on the structure of their crystallization, <laughs> the hardness and, and I like I would love if Santa just starts getting more and more blue. Yeah. <laughs> you gotta make that edit. <laughs> oh, the hardness and structure are completely different. So you're saying normal water and this ice nine are like that? I'm absolutely, by the way, take it like this will be the thumbnail first off. And I'm going to actually like, uh, like uh, color over in blue and like with little icicles and shit. <laughs> it's so cold. She wasn't finished. <laughs> Holy fuck. <laughs> Have you heard the story about the crystallization of glyc glycerine? And I'm also going glycerin. to have it, Glycerin. That's uh, the word. I'm going to change the text to, you know, that uh, like video of like the dog falling asleep as his owner stuff. Uh, hey, hey, you know, like, so anyway, the committee. Buford, Buford. <laughs> yeah, Buford, Buford. So anyway, the committee be decided to. I'm going to have it be that, the text. For 150 years after the discovery of. Glycerin. Glycerin. That's the word that I, I remembered it and then forgot it. Glycerin. People cooled it, warmed it, and did all sorts of things to it. They fucked it. Put <laughs> Filled it. <laughs> Soiled it. Filled. Soiled it. Filled themselves with it. 
But whatever they did, it never crystallized. However, one day in 1920... She wasn't finished. Oh, my God. So, some... Glycerin. Yeah, okay, you okay? Yes. <laughs> it, it just, for some reason, right now, my brain is just doesn't want to say it. Some glycerin that one that was unwrote... Some glycerase. ...was in, unwrote to England by ship was discovered to have crystallized during the trip. It was the Titanic. Actually, scientists worldwide wanted to research this new crystallized form of glycerin. And they began asking for samples of the seed. A seed, of course, is a sample of the original crystallized substance. But the seed crystal, further crystallization of glycerin, was a simple matter. However, something very strange happened. Oh, no! I don't want to be in biochemistry! I don't want to be in chemistry! Wait, no, this isn't biochemistry. The I'm final stupid. boss of this game better be just a collection of atoms. The, it's no. a test. A small, it, yeah. The final boss of this game has to be the SAT. <laughs> yeah. It's the SAT. Our, no, even worse, it's going to be one of our teachers from high school pops out in the game, like a full like uh, like 2D model. And this was all a ruse. <laughs> this is, was all a ruse. You're going back to school this now. This is all a ruse. You never graduated. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Not only did the glycerin encouraged by the seed crystals begin to crystallize. Glycerin. Glycerin. Near, nearby samples did as well. It didn't end there. After that day, all glycerin in the world began to crystallize naturally when cooled less than 64 degrees. Before that day, no matter how glycerin was cooled, it refused to Holy crystallize. shit, this is literally the meme of when was law created? <laughs> 1964, <laughs> people in 1963. <laughs> Killed people. But once My the crystallization God. had begun... It was almost like, how do I put it? It was almost like all the glycerin in the Did world you... was communicating. <laughs> <laughs> no, because then we'd be excited. Yeah, could you imagine that, though? Yeah! Like, after all this, I'm no longer mad. or just like, oh my god, it's our old science teacher. Yeah. <laughs> it was like almost all of the glycerin in the world was communicating. Communicating in some way that we can't sense. Junpei was honestly impressed, was kind of annoyed. Which, <laughs> wait, what are we doing? What are we doing? Honestly, I'm actually impressed. Because she's, she's random, willing to, to remember all of this while freezing to death. The rest, the rest, how idiotic this the is. The random physics lesson that I was not ready to fucking have. <laughs> the closer in in this fucking mystery game, and they, first they were gonna go off on a tangent about about stocks, and then they went off a tangent about some other stupid. Plates. No, Jesse, no, where the fuck did you find this game? What the fuck? <laughs> My sisters found this game. My sisters fucking found this game. It's hilarious. I'm honestly like having the time of my life this right game now. It's pretty funny. Like, where? What did you expect? From, did you expect just a normal escape room, basically? I was expecting, yeah, like escape room, but like horror, mystery, like more fucked up. I'm and, guessing like, you didn't imagine like learning about the crystallization of glycerin. No, I wasn't there for the boring parts. I, <laughs> <laughs> I literally wasn't there. I would, I would like randomly like just hop into my sister's room while she was playing this, look at what she was doing, sit next to her, maybe watch her for like an hour and a half. And then I just fuck off. <laughs> the, this is the greatest game I've ever seen. Was honestly impressed. It was, in fact, a pretty interesting story. Wow. Wow. <sighs> That's pretty interesting. You guys are freezing to death. What? <laughs> what does that have to do with Ice Nine? Oh, yeah. This was a tangent in the, the other th tangent. <laughs> yeah. A um, tangent in a tangent in a tangent. These guys have ADHD or something, dude. <laughs> to his surprise, it was Ginger, Santa. I can confirm it's autism. <laughs> it was Santa, not June. Who answered? What she's, what she's saying is that it's a lot like Ice Nine. What happened, I mean? A lot like, that would be bad. If water everywhere started freezing at 96 degrees, man, <laughs> it'd be the end of the... Oh. It'd be, it'd be the end of the world. The world. The world. Junpei felt that Santa might not be treating the idea of the end of the world with proper concern. Because he's about to die of freezing. I would also not care about the end of the world. Hypothermia. Frostbite. At any rate, we're not going to have to worry about the end of the world unless we can get out of here in a pretty damn quick. Oh my god, another character agreed. Two-thirds. He was right. Junpei shivered. All right, guys, I think that's enough chat. I'm fucking freezing my dick off over here. I think we'd end, we'd get quite, I, I didn't think we'd get this, <laughs> I didn't think we'd get quite this far off topic. Me neither. I mean, I know I'm kind of at fault here, but we can't be screwing around anymore. Yeah, we had 10 minutes my of time. My dick is falling off. We had 10 minutes. Seriously. <laughs> we had 10 minutes of time 20 minutes ago. And 20 minutes ago, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
I might go by the name Santa right now, but I didn't grow up in Iceland. That doesn't make sense, but whatever. I freaking hate the cold. So let's get cracking, all right? We've got we've got to find a way out of here. Iceland is green, and Santa did not grow up in Iceland. Santa stopped off, clearly. <laughs> it's in Iceland! That's green. Iceland is green. He it's... said fucking Iceland! Yeah, I know, that's Wasn't the original Saint Nicholas uh, German, right? Yes! Yeah. Saint Nicholas. Clearly doing his best to pretend the cold wasn't affecting him. Selfish that is green that Iceland killed you. Hey, fuck it. That was my tipping point right there. Selfish, isn't he? Thought Jupe to himself. Selfish. Still, Santa was right. It was high time they got back to their search. The story of Ice Nine had him interested. <laughs> I was trying to think about that when they got you out think, of You think, you think, like while we're in here, like jerking off to this dumbass conversation, and while the game gives us multiple opportunities to like stop, 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 stop. We're getting more blue. Someone's dying on side. You think, yeah. you think Lotus is just fine? Lotus is dead. It's like she got stabbed by someone. <laughs> I would actually love it if it was actually, like, a consequence of us being stupid. She's dead. Yeah. Jupe looked at June, nodded, and resumed the search. Of I would be sad because I'd miss them titties, but, you, you know. <laughs> Gonna turn back around. To no. Thing on top. Thing on top. Thing on top. I couldn't click on it earlier. I tried. Look. Fuck. Oh, bottom thing. Ooh. Oh, my dick. <laughs> Roll. Sturdy rope. Time to... Water bottle. I'm going to bust. <laughs> There's anything left in here that looks useful. Okay. I accidentally clicked on that. I accidentally didn't click on that. See, look. Okay, it's not a thing. Okay. You bloody forehead. No, the the the, the thing on the left. Thing on the left. Thing on the left. Bottom left. Bottom left. This thing is covering something. It's frozen solid. I can't flip it over. Never mind. Okay. Let's uh combine. No, no good. good. Okay, yeah, no, at some point it's got to be like you can grab the fucking ham and just smash that shit. That's what I was exactly while ago. It's like maybe it just needs more of a shock, you know? More of a shock. Uh, items. Chunk of pork. No, we're going to do that. We're, it's going to be with the knife afterwards. Hey, Junpei, didn't you find some dry ice earlier? Yeah. Yeah. There's warm water coming out of that pipe. Really? Warm water, dry ice. What do you think would happen if we put that stuff in sealed container together? I didn't even see the fucking. Hell yeah. There's water dripping from the pipe. Hmm. Looks like when the pipe burst, the water hit the doorknob and froze it in place. This water actually seems almost warm. You're getting frostbite. Okay, uh, wait, no. Uh, uh. For item combination water oh wait the let's... bottle yeah it's you use the water bottle so click it now there's warm uh... water no uh, combine items of warm water and the cold ice and dry ice, uh, dry yeah. ice. Yeah. what about and water tower nope. what what why does that not work do we have to break it check if there's anything else in here yeah Frozen chicken! Frozen chicken! Donald! <laughs> we didn't get to fucking grab this because they went on a stupid fucking tangent about dry ice. What's this? Anything else in here, yeah? There's fishes. You gonna sleep with the fishes? Okay, that's it. Okay, I don't, I don't think that's Yeah, that's, yeah, that's not it. Let's start off by putting the dry... Oh, okay. But, he oh! He said something, he said something. They, it said it was too big. Well, you gotta figure out a way to make it smaller then, don't you, genius? Wait, dry ice on... Did you see it? Ch chicken and dry ice. Chicken and dry ice? Chicken and dry ice! Chicken and dry ice! Try that real quick. That's pork. That's pork. That's pork. It's still pork, yeah. <laughs> chicken and dry ice. No. It said it. Like, here, let me read this real quick, okay? All right, the dry it. ice is all in pieces now. What? What? Did it work? Yes. We Why? just we just put the chicken together. Put these pieces of dry ice into the water bottle. Bottle with dry ice in it. One water flowing through the pipe. Wait, what? Bottle with dry ice in it. Okay, I'm gonna check now. Hey, click on the door now. Click on the door. Click on the door. Combine the... now with rope. Combined with rope! <laughs> Hook that bottle to the doorknob somehow. 
It's spelled right next to the ice on the door. <laughs> if you combine it with rope, it makes a bomb. <laughs> it makes a Molotov. That's so stupid. I hate this so much. The fact that we tried everything and then just turns out that that combination was exactly what you needed to do. Water bottle bomb. Warm water dripped from the ruptured pipe near the door. Junpei pulled the water bottle filled with dry ice, let a good amount of water fall in, then quickly sealed it up tight. The makeshift bomb was complete. He tied it to the doorknob as, quick as quickly as he could manage in the cold. All right, let's... That's... Uh... A chicken, of course! So, uh, what do we do now? We just, need, we just need to give it a little, uh, tap. The ball's already about to pop. If we just throw a rock or something at it, it'll go off on its own. Park! Small rock, small rock. Junpei looked down at the floor. Oh. Scattered across it were pieces of dry ice left over from the larger chunk he crushed earlier. All right, this ought to do the trick. He pulled his sleeve down over his hand to keep from getting burned and grabbed the chunk of dry ice. It was a pretty good size, about as big as a pool ball. He figured it would be just about the right size. <laughs> like misses. <laughs> All right, guys, stand back. His arm falls off. <laughs> <laughs> we should probably hide somewhere. Both Santa and June looked at him with new concern. Where exactly do you expect us to hide, genius? Bye. There isn't really anywhere big enough. There isn't really anywhere big enough. Oh shit, that's not me. Mm. Oh. <laughs> Maybe behind the fucking door? Yeah, there is. Look. Look! Right here. The floor. You can hide in there. Junpei pulled open the door of the small cellar. Yay! Aww. Come on. Get inside, quick. Santa and Jun nodded and jumped down into the hole. Junpei quickly followed. Here we are in the hold. In the hold. In his hand, he could feel the chill of the frozen carbon dioxide. Even though his, even through his sleeve. He tightened his grip, took aim, and prepared the throw. No! <laughs> or... uh. All right, here goes. Five. Keep counting the wrong way. Shut up, bitch. Oops. Oops. <laughs> that is a really sad excuse for a joke, man. Sorry, dude. All right, for real this time. You guys ready? Yes. Whenever you're ready. Just throw the damn thing. All right, here I go. Three, two, one. <laughs> Junpei missed. Threw the chunk of dry, dry ice as hard as he could. With the same motion, he ducked down into the cellar with Santa and June, just as kaboom! Kaboom! Junpei leapt out from the cellar and ran to the door. Lotus was on the other side, and she is now very dead. Junpei! The ice on the door, it's gone! Yeah, it's gone. That blast must have shattered it. We need to get the fuck out of here. No! Oh! Yeah, all right. Let's see if it opens. Junpei grabbed the knob and pushed with all his might. Hey! The door gave way easily, and all three of them tumbled out of the freezer at once. Hooray! We're out! June, relieved, collapsed, on the, collapsed onto the floor. M Move! <laughs> Move! Bitch! Move! Santa shoved past Junpei and ran straight for the grill, which he immediately grabbed. No! God damn it! Hot, 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 fuck! He just shoved his hand into fire. He proceeded to kick the grill in a futile but amusing fit of rage. But where was Lotus? It took Junpei only a moment to find her. She was sitting on the counter, idly scratching her chest. Really? That's it? <laughs> Welcome back. I was trying to get tired, tired of waiting for you guys. I know. I <laughs> With a great yawn, Lotus loaded herself off the counter. Junpei clenched his teeth and walked towards her. What? What were you doing? What do you mean, what was I doing? I was waiting. Was jacking off? We were gonna die. Oh, yeah? But you didn't, so everything worked out all right, didn't it? What the fuck? Just kidding. I might not look like it, but I was really worried. As I was sitting on the counter. Don't. Don't give me that crap. Tell the truth. Argue with yourself, Duke. <laughs> yeah. I mean, if you died, 
and I'd be in big trouble too. If you died, I'd be stuck here, and I'd die too. See? Ugh. I did all I could. I even looked around to see if there was anything I could use to pry open the door. But I couldn't find anything. Let me guess, if, the, if we didn't take the knife, then she would have used the knife. So, all I could do was wait. I mean, what else do you want to do? Call the cops? Yeah, I mean, yeah. It was true that there wasn't much she could have done, but something about her tone. Junpei gritted his teeth. Fine. Fine. <laughs> but there's one thing I have to ask you. What's that? You didn't close the door, did you? What? Well. <laughs> you think I closed the door on you? Why would I do something like that? Why would I do that very plausible thing? <laughs> it closed on its own. I told you before, if you die, then I die too. She was right, and Junpei knew it. Without them, she'd be very serious trouble. It seemed that the accident was only an explanation for the door's closure. <laughs> if Lotus really had wanted to kill them all, she would have had to do was bar the door from the outside. And she hadn't. Well, she hadn't done anything. <laughs> The most she was guilty of was laziness or ne negligence, not attempted murder. Junpei swallowed his anger and did his best to apologize. Fuck you, bitch! <laughs> well, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I doubted you. Hmm? Oh yes, well, that's alright, as long as you understand. Lotus looked away and twirled her hair between her fingertips. His vengeance against the grid of complete. Santa sw swaggered back towards Junpei and Lotus. <laughs> My hands are burnt! Hey, no more scooting around, you two. Not without me, at least. Break time's over. Especially for you, lady. You've just been sitting on that fat ass of your... <laughs> uh, while we... were freezing to death. How rude. How rude. I was plenty busy. Oh yeah, back then calling a girl's ass fat was an insult. Yeah. How the times have How changed. How the times have changed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How about you put all that energy into something besides bitching? Jesus. Let's go! <laughs> This guy is sexist as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I like him. <laughs> and we escaped, but we're going to be leaving it there. Thank you, everybody, oh, so much for watching. Done. We're done. Yeah. If, <laughs> I'm giving the outro. No, you. I, I saw Jinju clicking. I was like, no, 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 no. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> I'm familiar with this. Thank Bye. you, everybody, so much for watching. If you liked it, subscribe for more. We'll catch you next time. Bye-bye. Oh. Oh. oh, my God.